honestly need to talk about what happened in Damascus. That for a while now, we've been very depressed on trail because our friends have left us. This happened in Damascus. We knew it was coming. But for a long time, now we're at, we're at acceptance right now. I think this, it's been about a fortnight. Yeah, I do believe this happened around the 1st of April. But our friends, they're at high mileage right now doing about 15 to 20 miles a day and we're doing 10 to 15 like not even 15 not even 15 just 10 to get our body up but for a while we were quite angry about them leaving us again mind you that we understand but still the feels were there that <clears throat> the way that this trail was submitted to me as that we're all going to do this trail together as a group. And that we would only uh, separate ways if someone got injured, they had to go back home, family issues, that sort of stuff. And for about a year of getting pumped up hiking together and doing all that sort of stuff just together to be left in Damascus like that. What we feel is that if I was just a misbehaving dog and they just drove me out to the country somewhere, kicked me out of the truck, and drove off. That's how it feels. That's not how it is. That's how it feels. And it's heartbreaking. It really is. And we feel... We're getting better as the days go by. We're on the last stage of the last stages of grief. But still, it just feels that way that we honestly never would have done the Appalachian Trail solo. We have never would have came out here we were happy in Colorado, just day hiking and stuff like that. So, honestly, that's, that's just how I feel. That they pumped me up for this, got me over here, and then said deuces. Hope you find a new tramley, a new... Uh, group just still reeling from it still have a lot of feels in here but then again we're not we're angry about the situation not angry at them we understand they have to go on they're doing awesome mileage. I'm very proud of them for them doing that amount of miles. We just can't. Our body won't allow it. And that's just unfortunate. 
But now, we're out here soloing it. We don't have to worry about them anymore. It's, uh, and they don't have to worry about me anymore uh, getting to camp early and or for them getting to camp early and us getting to camp late. And we're just doing us right now. So honestly, it was a blessing in disguise, to be honest. And we can just do whatever we need to do now. Have no responsibility, other responsibilities other to ourselves, so. It's, it's getting better as the days go by. Currently, they're almost to, to Petersburg, Petersburg, something like that in Virginia. And where are we at? Mm, we're about mile marker 560 and they are about mile marker 630, 620. So they're gone, gone, gone. And just focusing on ourselves now. Got to do a little bit more healing, stuff like that. What we have also stopped doing until we get to camp is smoking. We've noticed that smoking doesn't, it drags us down and we don't need that, especially while climbing thousands of feet in a day. Thinking about doing this next mountain is 2000 feet to the shelter of incline. And thinking that's about four miles. So we would be doing a 14 miler today. Not sure. Because it's going to rain tomorrow. If we make it there, then that means that we have shelter and it's going to be dry. Or we can tent up where we want to try to get out whenever it's not raining and trek through the rain up the mountain. Or the shelter again, it's gonna be a long time. But honestly, it's only about one right now. We have seven more hours of daylight. And even, even if we do it about a mile an hour, still we're still gonna to get to the shelter about five. So, Mm, maybe. Kind of leading towards the, the shelter, to be honest. It's going to be a tough climb, but. So just wanted to get that shit off our chest. Sad, hurting, but a blessing. It really is. I hope that, well, again, this is part of like the bargaining type thing that whenever they do finish the trail, because they're going to hit Mount Katahdin and come back to the Smokies, that maybe we could hike together again. But prop not putting really any eggs in that basket right now. Not any eggs in that basket. But honestly, I'm glad I got that shit off my chest. And onto a video. But best of luck to Panda Express, Little Lassie, and the guide. Y'all are awesome. You're still my friends. Miss y'all. But I'm over here solo. Getting happier as the days go by. And just enjoying nature. Highly recommend 
for anybody to do this type of thing. Even solo, it doesn't take that much to, as far as logistics goes, because you just look at far out or your, that whatever hiking thing that you have, we use far out and count the, count the amount of miles, the incline, decline of what you want to do in that day and try to get to, to town in a, in a pleasant or on a good stretch of days, short days, and I don't know. But then again, uh, we saw, we're, we're hiker 146. And we just saw a tag today of a hiker that has 775, something around there. So people are catching up. But the thing is, this is a marathon. And as the saying goes, last one to Katahdin wins. Probably going to be the last one to Katahdin. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to make it. We still need to head back to the Smokies and do them because we were with the, the dog group. And dogs are not allowed in the Great Smokies. It should be only about a week or something like that through the actual Smokies. It's going to be nice. Interesting. To be honest, for right now, we're thinking of whenever we get to Harper's Ferry to actually go up north to Katahdin, do Katahdin, go southbound, hit Harper's Ferry again, and then do the Great Smokies. Yeah. Maybe what we're going to do. That's probably what we're going to do. And it's just... We're getting better. We're just getting better every single day. We're getting a tan, losing weight. Our mind is a little bit better, to be honest. Just went through, just went through seven straight days of hiking with no shower and no resupply. We had the food for it. That shit was brutal, stinky. We just felt a little bit too much one with the earth for the fact that it was just insane. It really was. But glad that we got a shower at Quarterway Inn Hostel. We were going to stay there today as far as zero. And as you can see, the embankment of this river is at about the four foot mark. And we don't need to be crossing any river or creek or anything like that. Ooh, beautiful butterfly, squirreled. at High River. It's going to rain tomorrow, it's going to rain the next day, and I think it's going to rain the next day afterwards. So, no, we don't need to cross this bitch, especially after three days of rain. Don't even think that's going to be possible. But yeah, cause we're getting it. Squirrels, absolutely nuts. Gotta say that. Our feet are getting a little bit dry from this creek now, and it's about time for socks and shoes and to get the fuck out of Dodge. Still, like floating bed on this thing would be awesome until, you know, flood happens and you get washed down river and you die because you wanted to sleep on a creek before a rainstorm. Intelligent. Vastly. 